Let's get an update on power outages. Joining us right now via Zoom is Drummond's McAlpin, VP of Administration with Southern Pine. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And we mentioned earlier about the power outages across the state. Southern Pine Electric particularly impacted. That's right. And so we just have a question. With more freezing rain on the way, how are you preparing for possible outages? The... <laughs> Not, not the weather forecast we were looking for. You know, I, I believe when I was on with you guys yesterday, I told you the most important thing that we needed from a restoration standpoint was for this ice to thaw. Uh, you know, we had some sunshine this morning that went away. We're under overcast skies now. Uh, the weather system is starting to enter the western side of, of our distribution system, so we're starting to see some of the impacts. It looks like from the forecast, and it all depends on the on the freezing line as far as are we going to be dealing with a rain event or some ice. Uh, it, it really throws some safety hazard into it. it. It makes navigation around our system even that more difficult. You have to remember in the electric cooperative world, uh, while we do serve members in and around towns and cities, most of our systems out in the rural parts of the state. So we're off the beaten path and these lines are not necessarily following the roadways. And it just, when you deal with this ice and you deal with the rain, the ground gets saturated and it makes our uh, ability to, to, to do our work uh, not easy and very difficult. So what's the outage situation right now? Uh, as of right now, I, with some, some current data, looks like we have just under 6,300 meters still out. Uh, so we've, we've made some progress through the day yesterday. Uh, we had to take a break during the night last night when the temperatures got well below freezing. Uh, we got back at it at daylight this morning. We've made some progress, but with the ice still in the trees, we're still dealing with continuous outages that are happening. So we're not completely focused on restoration yet because we still have outages that are occurring. And once this weather gets into place, if we start dealing with heavy rains, thunderstorms, uh, from a safety standpoint, I can't let guys get in buckets in the middle of lightning. Uh, that's going to really hamper the progress, and we could see more outages as a result of this afternoon's weather. And how long could some people be without power? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. How long could some people be without power? Uh, you know, if we would have had sunshine all day, I really think we could have uh, made some significant progress. But with the day uh, and with the way it's spread out, we're still having difficult travel conditions up in Newton County, uh, which we serve the majority of Newton County, and that's where the majority of our outages still are. But we're still dealing with icy roads and making progress up there is difficult. So I think we'll still see uh, that 6,300 meter number continue to drop through the day. I just can't commit yet to us being 100% restored through the day. I really feel like this will be a late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, sometime Friday morning event before we're able to really get this cleared up. And again, that depends on today's weather event and how much that impacts us. All right, yeah, everyone's dealing with this uh, second round of weather that's that's rolling on in. So thank you so much, Drummonds, for joining us once again, and we'll keep up with you, and, and good luck with everything. Thanks so much.